everyone. This is Chris from Soul Harmony. Thank you for joining me. Today's video is going to be about Halloween again, and I am going to make another card. I've already did one, a very simple one, uh, a few days ago, and now I wanted to make it a more develop a little bit more complex. But it is still very simple, and you will still not need a lot of materials. So this is how it looks when it's closed and you've got a spider web here that is kind of loose on one side. There is a spider here that has some um, glossy uh, effect to it. Also a little bit here on the on the web. A little banner here and when you open it up this is how it looks like inside. So of course you can do this in very different ways. I didn't want to make it too heavy and put too many things in here and I also try to make it a little simple for you. So what you will need for this is a card. So this is an actual um, standard A2 size card, eight and a half by, um, let me see, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. This is what you'll need and I decided to take a black one. Of course you can change all the colors. You will need uh, for the banner here, uh, I have a stamp here. I don't have the coordinate dies, but I'll show you what I've done with this. You will need, uh, I use two dies here for the spider and the spider web. So here are the two dies and I'll put a link under the video description to tell you where you can find these. It's really not expensive and you can find different styles. This is a very simple one. And this is what the spider web looks like. I think it's really, really nice. And by the way, you should have a uh, the car stock here for the base should be a little heavy because it's going to be better when you're going to cut your spider web into it. It needs to have a high weight so it doesn't fall apart. Then what I used here is just a random uh, picture that I found on the internet that I use for my personal use so you can also print it out. And what I've done here that I haven't done on the other one I wanted to give it a little more of a 3D effect is that I put some glossy accents. I hope you'll be able to see this. Let me do a light close up here. Um, I've put some, yeah, I think you can see it now. Some glossy accents here on the bats, on the cross here on the tomb, something very simple. So you will need this paper and I uh, utilize a whole sheet of uh, a letter size and you're going to be able to use everything up. So just one regular sheet of paper will be fine. You will need some liquid glue, uh, some double-sided tape, and I think that's it. So, first of all, you'll need to get this uh, gatefold card to get your standard A2 size card. And when it's full, it's going to be a regular A2 size to go into your envelopes. And you're just going to have to score it differently. We usually score it in half, but here we're going to score it on the sides. So here, the dimensions that I scored it to was 2 inches and 1 sixteenth. This is, uh, this is the, the way you're going to be able to fold it because this part here is going to be 4 and a quarter, okay? So 2 inches and 1 sixteenth. Give it a try. It should shut quite fairly well. At least not, if, it's, if you have a little gap here, it's not a problem, but at least not overlapping each other, okay? Then, I so I print this one out, and you can find these pictures all around uh, Google, whatever it is. You can have some uh, pumpkins here. And I cut it down to be just slightly smaller than the, uh, the inside of my card, because I like to leave a little gap and a little border. So I usually leave, apparently here, a little bit more on the top. I usually cut it down to a quarter of an inch smaller on all sides. So now that I have cut this down, I'm just going to put some double-sided tape here. I'm going to use my ATG gun. And I really love this, this ATG gun. Now that I use it, I, I feel it's so economical. And I don't buy the normal brand. I use off-brand um, refills, and they're great and very economical. Okay, so there it is. Good. Now that I have done this, it's going to be my focus uh, point here. And as you can see in this one, you still have some room to write on any message you would like to. Or if you use a white gel pen, you could use also this these pieces here to write your message on. So once this is done, 
what I've done is I've cut it two other pieces in this same paper and I just cut them down a little bit again to decorate the outsides of my card here. Something very simple, about a quarter of an inch here everywhere just to fill it in the in the middle here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to show you this to you. You know how to cut paper down. That's good. Maybe no, I'm not going to zoom back. That's fine. So here I am trying not to glue it down crooked. Okay, same thing on the other side. So you see it's going to be very, very simple. Okay, yes, you need to have some, um, some dies for this, but if you don't have a spider die, what I thought about you could do is maybe uh, if you have some, um, how do you call that, acrylic sheets, transparent sheets, you could also print one on these, um, these transparent sheets and cut it out. You, it wouldn't be plain like in here in the middle, here you've got some holes, but you could also print one and do the same thing if you don't want to buy specifically a die for this. And the same for the spider just happened I had the dies and I wanted to use them. So now this is done, what I'm going to do right now or is uh, do the inside of it. So I've cut my spider web here once in black and I've cut it again in uh, red or in an orangey color exactly in the same paper. I'm still using the same paper, I don't have to print another one. And I've put some glossy accents because I, I thought it was going to be nice hope you'll be able to see it. Let me see on the dark paper. If you can see the shiny of it. Because everything is matte here, so I wanted to give it a little hump to it. And I usually do this before because otherwise it's going to stain my paper a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of cut it in half here to go into my angles. You could do it on all four angles, all four sides. I'm just kind of, let me see what it's going to look like more or less cut it in half in here and I'm going to glue it down here and I'm going to glue it down on the other side just here on the opposite sides because that's the way I want it to be. You could do all four sides or do anything else, do a full sheet here if it was big enough, why not? And for this I can't really use my uh, tape for that so I'm just going to put some glue here and I use the uh, Mono Aqua Glue Tumbo uh, because it dries fairly quick and it's got a very fine tip so I'm just putting here some dots of glue I'm not putting exactly everywhere and if if I've got loose bits that's not going to be a big problem mainly do it on the bits here on the ends and a little bit in the middle here and there and I know that there is a spot here when I had my finger. The I'm not going to say the most difficult thing, but what is going to take you more time here? Oh, I moved a lot. So I'm going to take a towel here, or let me see, I'm going to take this because I've moved it. Be careful when you put your spider web down not to move because otherwise it might stain your paper. I've done a better job off camera than what I'm doing right now. Maybe I put too much too. So just be aware of that. But by doing this and I'm changing every time I press down, I'm taking a little bit of this glue off. So when it's going to dry, it's going to dry and clear and I won't have all these stains. So I'm going to try to do something better here on this side now. So I was saying what is going to take most of your time here is just going to cut down and take away of the little pieces of the, your spider web. But it goes away very fairly quickly if you have a pokey tool to get rid of all these little bits and pieces here. 
So let me see. I'm going to try to push it down directly and not moving. Yes, much better. Maybe if you had a Xyron machine, you could run it through. I didn't think about that before. But that's going to be fine. Having a... I would probably not use a paper towel for this because it might stick to your paper and be even worse. That's fine. So either you do this first or you do it at last, it's okay, but you need to let this dry a little bit before you come on this other part because if you want to close your card now, your glue here that is not dry may stick to your paper here. So I'm going to pause this and I'll be back in just a second when everything is dry. Okay, so I'm back. Um, my two spider webs are fairly dry and now what I'm going to do is take care of the front side and it's going to be easier if you just turn your card over here and I'm going to use now my spider here so I can't remember if I told you this before but uh, use some thick paper yes I think I did tell you use some rather thick paper to cut out your um, your spider web and then you just arrange it the way you want it's not really that important just more or less in the middle here and if you want to put a tag here or uh, a little better like I did, leave some space or you could do it on the top, it doesn't matter where you put it. And uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. And I'm going to put glue here just on the half of it, okay, not on the other side, otherwise I'm going to shut uh, my, um, my card. So let me see, I'm going to use some paper here, I'm going to use another technique. Uh, this is a craft, uh, craft piece of paper and I'm going to use some liquid glue again but I'm going to make it look nicer than what I've done previously and I'm going to put it so I'm going to put it on the right side and just remember not to put glue everywhere just on the half part of it and in order not to make a big mess like I did just before, I'm going to put this down on my piece of paper here and I'm just going to take the axis off with my finger because even though I put little drops there, it's still a bit too much. And now, am I on the, I'm on the right side, that's good. My glue is here and now I can put it down. Okay, it's a better, better job. Not perfect, but better. Okay. Now, this is done. I am going here. On the other side, I'm going to put my spider. And for this example, I in fact doubled up my spider. What I have done here is that I um, cut my spider twice into heavy cardstock and then I glued it, uh, the, I glued the two uh, spiders together to make it stronger because in my first example it was not strong enough and I wanted to try to keep these two sides together shut. But there's one thing you need to know before that is you need to crease here I don't have my bone folders on my other table, but you need to crease here the two sides of your card very well in order to uh, make it uh, shut better and also the weight is going to count. So the more, uh, the heavier your spider is, the better. Maybe if you can find one in plastic, it's going to help you even more uh, shutting everything down because it's not heavy enough, okay? It's really the weight that's going to do the whole stuff. but. We're still going to be able to help this by counterbalancing the opening with here this little banner on the other side of it. So it's going to help close these two bits together. But I think, I still believe it's going to be nice putting the spider here anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I already did that and I pulled some little um, glossy accents of it on it to make it really shiny. I hope you're going to be able to see this. Let me see. Yep, 
yep, glossy accent or any other um, glossy uh, varnish you would have. And you will have to use here some a um, uh, foam to put underneath. And I just forget one. I'm just realizing I don't have it here. So hold on a second. I'll, I'll be back. I'm going to pause you. So I've got my foam here. I showed you what I was doing before. It's just a normal fun foam and I put some double-sided tape on both sides to make my own and it's dark so nobody's gonna see it underneath and I'm gonna cut a little piece here. It's gonna be enough. Like this. Turn over my spider here. Put it on the back. and take the paper off. So before, because it's black, you're not going to really pay attention to it. You won't be able to really see it. And I am just putting it here right on the edge. It can be here or it can be here right on the edge of my spider web, the closest you can, and it's going to help it close a little bit. And I just noticed that I put my spider web upside down. So the closest the better. And I'm still going to try to um, close here a little bit better. Like I said, it's going to help. And see, it's working better when you really try to burnish down your, uh, your card. And what I've done here is I just printed, because you're going to be using a lot of your uh, spare piece of paper that you used for this card, the inside. Uh, I just used this one here that I uh, um, stamped on this piece of paper and then I wrote who on it here like we go Ooh. and on this one I wrote boo because I didn't have anything that I could use and so I wrote it down myself and then I used um, a piece of black and I cut everything around it and I put a little bit of glossy accent again to make it a little bit shiny. So then what I'm going to do here is do the same thing then with the spider. I'm going to take a little piece of uh, foam with double-sided tape and I'm going to put it on the back of my banner here. Mm, yep. And I'm going to do the half of it. Remember, it's going to be the other side. It's on the opposite side of your spider. Don't forget that. And so I'm going to close my spider this way, my web. And I'm going to put this really, really close to the edge, like this. So it's kind of centered. And it's going to help close my card even a bit more. You don't have to do this step, I just think it helps. And now your card is over. You open it, you've got this in the middle, you can write your message on, and then close it back or keep it open if the person wants to keep it open. And the spider, quite, really, I think these two dies look pretty good. They look very realistic. And I cut a spare one. I didn't know if I wanted to put it inside or not. But to be um, remember that the thicker the inside is going to be, you're going to have more difficulties to keep it really well shut. So maybe not put too much um, uh, things inside and the heavier on the outside the better to keep it shut too but I think it's nice anyway it's going to be a good surprise for people and it's really interesting and it's more like adults because you've got this really realistic spider my husband saw it he said oh my goodness it really looks a real one so that's it please tell me in your comments what you think about it and I might put a little bit of glossy accent here again on the spider I think it's missing a little something but you can use this example, do exactly the same thing you, um, for you at home. Don't hesitate to copy. These uh, videos are there for that and to share with everybody. So tell me what you think about it. And I also have a Facebook page community there if you want to um, post your own pictures of what you have done, whether it's the same or totally different please go on my uh, Facebook page. It's uh, You've got the link on the video description below. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give me some thumbs up, and share. See you soon for another project. Bye-bye.